Good evening. I just want to take a moment to share a, a, actually an awesome experience I had last week in Kenton at the drug court. Um, we had a gentleman who had just graduated and uh, he attends one of the uh, churches there in Kenton. And of course he uh, got to give his testimony at the end since he was uh, graduating. And for the next 20 minutes, that, and that was the first uh, drug court uh, session I'd been to. Um, and for the next 20 min minutes, he gave a testimony about God and his church. And he did throw his wife in there at the end. <laughs> Those are three important uh, things to uh, make sure we have a priority in our lives. But I have talked with the judges. We have awesome judges in Kenton, and uh, I watched how they interacted. But, you know, they come up with a, they were talking about their success rate. And they come up with a conclusion that the highest percentage, it was like 90-some percent of the individuals that were successful in their programs had two things in common. One was God, and the second was church. And, and I agree. Now, just really quick, as, a, as a, my own personal testimony, 12 years old, I started drinking, doing drugs, and up until the age 21. But, you know, it, it took God... It took church and definitely a praying mother and on, in my case. So, uh, again, I'm going to keep this very short, which is probably the first miracle we're going to see tonight. And, um, I, 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 but I do believe that anyone that's addicted, and it's such a, it's almost like playing Russian roulette anymore. It's a lot worse when, you know, drugs now than when it was when I was a teenager. Uh, fentanyl is involved. I talked with the uh, head of the, our, our task force, and he said everything that he had collected and, and confiscated in 2018 had a trace of fentanyl. Now, now just think about that. Fentanyl, even in weed. I, I mean, every time you, you know, oh, I'm just going to smoke a joint, or I'm just going to do this, or try this, or... Uh, no, no, you, you're actually putting your life on the line every time. So there is hope. And the hope, it, I, I believe, is God. It's, that's, a, that's a good place to give God a good hand. <laughs> and church. I, I'm a firm believer in church. And definitely prayer. Let's give God a hand. Thank you.